Hey everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe, and today we are going to seal these two paintings. Um, we're going to do another series of different ways to seal your paintings, but this time we're going to use ones that you actually brush on. Um, today's will be this Deco Art by Americana Dura, Dura Clear High Gloss, High Gloss Varnish. Um, pretty simple instructions on this one. Just shake gently, apply with a flat brush, allow to dry to the touch before adding any additional coats. And then how much it covers. It's for indoor or outdoor, water-based, permanent, soap and water to clean up. So we will get started. Um, I've never used this one before, so we'll have to see how easy it applies, how easy it um levels or if it levels <laughs> uh, and what kind of sheen we get on it. Um, I'll probably do at least two if not more coats. I have literally no idea how much I need. I'm just going to wing it. Um, I'm just using this one inch brush. I just found it. I, nothing special that I chose here. On my other ones I do have some specifics that I use. Try to get pushed to the edge and then I'll go through and make sure all of my strokes are going the same direction and hopefully they will uh, even out. It's pretty like fluid, so that's really good. Makes me think it will level. I have no idea if I'm allowed to. Um, Torch it. Uh, I know Liquid Tex, and we'll be doing a video on that shortly. You can torch, but the polyacrylic you cannot torch. It is flammable. Maybe once I get this coat on, I will uh, read it and see if it says if it's flammable or not. So far, I like it. We'll see how it turns out. Let me read it real quick. I didn't see anything that indicated it was flammable. Okay, I tested it a little bit. It didn't blow up, so that's good, but it didn't do anything either. So I don't want to keep um, trying. I don't want to like burn it if that's a thing. Because I know you can like burn resin if you um, torch it too much, you'll actually burn it. <laughs> See how fluid it is though? It's really cool. I wonder what would happen if I just like tilted it instead of brushing it at all. It does indicate to brush so I'll trust it for this first set <laughs> and see what actually happens. I do love ceiling paintings and seeing all those colors come out. Ceiling painting is definitely not my favorite thing to do but once I'm in here doing it it's pretty awesome to see the results. So it seems slightly less bubbly than the last one. Catch all the sides. And it says a lot of dry to the touch, so I don't know how long that'll take. And um, there's plenty of uh, runoff here, so I will test that to determine if it's ready for additional coats or not. I'm really nervous about it, but if it doesn't work, we'll figure something else out. Obviously, wash your brush in between coats so it doesn't dry with the sealer in it and run it. Oh. Let me see what happens. Yeah, nothing's happening. I'm nervous about that. Okay, I'm going to leave it alone. Hopefully it levels out. We'll find out in not too long for you. But I'll have to wait. <laughs> and we'll be back in a little bit. Alright guys, we are back. And um, yeah, there were some undesired results here. So I came back three hours later. And this is what we get. Let me see if I can get it zoomed in here. They have both cracked tremendously. I have no idea what caused this. 
it's all throughout the entire painting there's big cracks little cracks literally all over and on both of them it's shiny <laughs> but it's destroyed now obviously if you're going for this kind of look this is clearly the way to go this unfortunately was not my desired result here not what I was going for so I'm not gonna worry about adding any additional layers to this at this point not really sure what I will do with these now but I like I went back and double checked there's no temperature it just says gently sh shake gently and I thought I shaked gently <laughs> I don't know how you shake gently in a bottle I didn't like like you shake spray paint you know you have to shake that pretty vigorously I didn't do that by any means so I'm not sure what I'm sure that this is not what the manufacturer intended to happen <laughs> these have been cured for a very long time probably more than two months or more um so yeah it's decent hot in the studio right now it's not like terribly hot it's not cool by any means but it's not like I'm not sweating being out here but maybe temperature but I even double checked to make sure it didn't say like crazy temperature stay away but yeah so here's been my experience with the uh, Deco R Americana Dura Clear High Gloss if you are interested in this Here's what you may or may not get. I can't speak for that. It's a very small sample size of an experiment here, but they both did the same thing. But they were also both in the same conditions, aside from color. They're all probably Artist Loft low acrylic mixed with low troll and water in the same room, in the same temperature, same paintbrush. So, yeah, if your conditions are different, you may get a different result. I may have to try this again, but I'll have to find a painting that I'm okay with destroying <laughs> in case it doesn't go as planned. Um, but, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and do what makes you happy.